uh, unfortunately for me, my my wife, some of my wife's family are Armenian, oh. so she's laughing oh, here. No. Oh, no. It's going to be a long weekend for you, well, mate. <laughs> well, I better hope Father's Day is going to be better. <laughs> <laughs> um, what, what, do you th- what do you think about I, the, the Welsh squad and, and where they are? Is this just a bad, you know, a one-off like, bad night? Darren, or... I like your point. I think... Um, some of the things you say, I agree with you. Uh, some of them I disagree. Um, uh, yes, all the hard work after Latvia and Croatia mm. might have been sort of messed up tonight. I don't... It's not their punching above their weight. I think they look like a tired team in the World Cup, which I accepted. Yeah. Um, but I do think that... I don't think they're ready for the Euros this year. Next year, sorry. Um, I think it's a time of bringing these players, they are premiership players, you know. Mm. They're not, you know, we used to have championship players and one or two, you know, Division One in those days, or premiership players. But now, the squad is coming together slowly, but I think we are... So what, so what makes you say they're not ready walking. then, Gareth? I do think that, you know, losing somebody like Dale and even Joe Allen yeah. is a big... Not only the influence on the field, but in training and, you know, teaching these kids coming through. I think um, we need to sort of settle down. And we've got, you know, man, what do I call it? Um, you've got the players there. Dan James can perform. Um, a lot of them can perform. But I was disappointed tonight because, you know, we're 26 in the world, according. I don't believe the FIFA rankings. You know, I mean, yeah, 90 cents or something, you know? Mm-hmm. So, you know, yourself, you know, like I agree with what you said about when you play Malta, you, you mean you're lucky got a bit of depth of squad yeah. and you shouldn't be playing those players, but obviously you're going to win. So we need, unfortunately, to play our good players all the time. I hear that. I hear that. Uh, cheers to the call, Gary. Let's speak to another Wales fan. Let's speak to Sam now and get Sam's view on the game and whether this is just a, you know, a really bad night at the office or if there's some lingering concerns about going forward. Uh, good, good evening, Sam. Hi, uh, UK. Hi, Sam. We're very good, mate. How are you and how... Hi, Darren. You UK. Right. Yeah, good, man. How are, we, are you feeling? Uh, a bit depressed, to be honest. Mm. I mean, um, I think after after the World Cup, I think Paige had to go, to be honest. Mm. Um, yeah, what I makes you say Dan, that, Sam? I don't know. I think Dan James, down the wing, I think he's got, he's got a lot of pace for no end product. Um... I don't know. I just think there's there's a lot of talent in that team, but just like I don't think Paige can do it to be honest. If you're looking, Sam, today in terms of you're you're playing Armenia, like we're we're talking about England playing Malta. Do you, as a supporter, expect to win this game? I think so. Yeah. After the last few years, I think that should be a three points, especially at home. Mm. So is that is, is is tonight just a like I said a, a a really bad day at the office, or or do you have deeper concerns that actually you're just not of the level to be at the Euros next year? I think there's deeper concerns. I think we've got a lot of talent, but I don't think we have the the manager to do it. I think Ramsey is past his prime. Um, I just don't think we have anything to be honest. Can I think Ramsey should have retired with Bale. Can, can I ask you if you know? Maybe you don't know, but what's coming through the ranks? Is, is there anything? Because if, if if you don't qualify for the Euros, you'll be looking then at you know qualifiers for the for the next World Cup in in America, Mexico, and Canada. Do you know? Is is there talent coming through that makes you think? Okay, we may miss out on on Germany next year, but there's enough coming through that in a couple of years' time we'll have a squad that can make a you know another another major tournament. Well, yeah, I think obviously David Brooks come back after obviously his battle with cancer, and I'm yeah. glad he's got through that. Yeah. Um, and obviously, uh, Brennan Johnson obviously had a 30 million bid uh, declined by Brentford. I think he's obviously a good talent. I think we got some a lot of talent through, but we just don't have someone to be able to take the take it. Yeah, okay, you know okay, I mean? Sam. You, you're obviously critical of of Rob Page, and understandably. Um, but if they were to pull the trigger and get rid, who who would you want to see come in and take control? Take control. I don't know, to be honest. Yeah, who's that at the back? Yeah, who's that? Who's that? I, had, I, had Nathan a, I had a Nathan Jones shout come out. Yeah, sorry, I've got my friends in the car. Yeah, okay. my, uh, my backseat driver's here. Yeah, I'm yeah. a front seat driver. What, yeah, what makes he, you think he, Nathan uh, Jones could get uh, more out of this this team? I just think because he's a, he's a proper coach. He yeah. knows what he's doing. Um, 
like Rob Page today, he's tried to go four at the back, and it's basically been like zero at the back. It shows that we can only play with five at the back, even at Armenia at home, we can only play five at the back. Like conceding four at home to Armenia is actually embarrassing, really. It's not a good look. But, I mean, mm. a, a year ago, every Welsh supporter I was speaking to, you know, Jones was the man. Sorry, Page was yeah. the man. It was like, you know, Page, he's, he's, the, he's changed, the, the Welsh god. We love him. Quickly. He's brilliant. Yeah, it changes quickly. I was I was in the ground when we beat Belgium 3-1. And, uh, yeah, it's gone from so much high to so much low. It's just, uh, yeah... It's always the know. way. It's always the way. Indeed, it is. Listen, cheers to the call, cheers, guys. Uh, guys. Uh, now, before we we go to our next call, uh, Andrew from Cardiff, let's hear from uh, the Welsh manager Rob Page after his side's crushing defeat. All the staff said there's, there's so much experience in there now. With Nick joining us from West Ham, with Eric joining us from Man United, myself, Alan Nil. There's enough experience in that changing room. We all said this week, today, this morning, when we had a staff meeting, that it's probably been one of the best camps. The environment was great. The work we've done, the, we've put we've put a lot of work into them. The detail of the game plan, and we've gone out and, and in the first 10, 15 minutes, I thought we'd done okay. I thought we got off to a, a good start. And like I said, after that, defensively, we've been solid. I, I you know, I, I always reference Croatia away. To go and get a result like that in Croatia, you have to be organised, you have to be hard-working, you have to be um, solid from top to bottom. And today we weren't. And when you're playing against technically very good players like we did tonight, they will exploit that, irrespective of who they are. They will exploit it, and they and they certainly did. The Welsh manager there, Rob Page, speaking to Talksport after his side's quite embarrassing defeat at home there to Armenia. Mm. Go on, I just, I'd like to hear when we speak to Andrew if he agrees with the previous call in, about Nathan Jones. Didn't mm. go too well at, at Southampton, and I, I'm not sure he's the answer no. for Wales, to be honest. Let's find out from Andrew himself. Good evening, Andrew. Yeah, evening, guys. Hey, Hope you're well. We are well, mate. Um, Darren just asked you a question there. I mean, do, what do you think of yeah, the I, shout from the previous I, fans there that um, uh, Nathan, Nathan Jones. Jones is the man to take over? I, I think obviously Nathan is is a good up and coming manager. Mm. Has he got the Have he got the international pedigree? I don't think so. You know, he, he went into a, a Southampton side, I think, which were battered and bruised anyway. Um, so I don't think coming into this wild side is is something that will improve them. I think we looked very uninspired this evening. We lack urgency. We lack um, any sort of, I can't think of the word really, I think any creativity. Why I is that, Ram- do you think, Andrew? Do you think that's because it's been a long season for a lot of these players and it's tiredness I, I, creeping I in? Think, you know, I do think that it is a long season for, for, for a lot of players. You know, England, Wales, everybody, we're all in the same, same boat, in the same camp. But I, I think... You know, in all fairness to Page, he's brought in uh, coaches, Eric Black and whatever. He's brought Ian Mitchell back, which I think Ian's done a great job at Wales previous. He's done a great job um, at England. I said, yeah. and let's not forget that. He's come back into the Wales camp now. And I've been told um, by local guys that, uh, that I bother with that he's done his coaching badges and everything. Yeah. They've got everything around them. You know, they flew off to, to, to a camp this week. And, you know, why are we staying home? You know, why are we going away and then coming back and, and blah, blah, blah? I, I just don't understand it. I don't understand the current setup there, you know. Well, what do you, what do you, think, what do you expect and, next Monday against Turkey? What do you expect? What kind of reaction? Same team or, or and, numerous changes? Well, it'll be the same team. I think after, the, after these two games, I've got to be honest, I finished work this afternoon and I thought, you know, I, I, I go to most last year, well, all the, all the own games especially, go to a couple of away games and whatever. Mm. But... For me, for this was four points. The next two games, try and get a point up in Turkey. Yeah. This was this was a this was a giver tonight. Yeah. And I, I don't think many many Welsh fans around you, if you if you're honest with yourself, I think after coming off the uh, the back of that World Cup and uh, and everything, I think if we're honest with ourselves, we've not, we we've not done well. The last probably ten games, we we just have looked. You know, we've looked tired. We look tired as a team. We we lack composure. We we inspiration even. You know. I, I think and that's what I, I think we need something in that team now to grab the boys together, an old head in there or, or, or whatever, and just say, Come on boys, you know, let's just kick on now. You know, it's just mm. we got no one grabbing grabbing a team you know, and there's some there's some big captains, Ben Davis is the world and we forget about that and and obviously Roden and yeah. and, and and things, but no, nah, I don't know, are we lacking something? There's just something missing that and, and I don't think it's Bale, I think 
Bale was probably, you know, for me, he was one of the best players in the world and, and always will be the best player the Wales have ever produced. But, do, do you think, you know, Andrew, sorry to jump in, but do you think he no, was no. that that voice? Bale was that voice and now someone else has to step up, even if it's an Aaron Ramsey, I'm sure he is a voice, but one of the younger lads has to step up now. I think I think, I think the last probably 12 months of, of Bale's tenure, I suppose, in, in, with his position and stuff, I, I don't think he did. I, I think it was. I, I think it was probably the last year. Iman Ramsey. I think they 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 probably was gone a year too far for me. For me personally, I, I don't know about others, but yeah, you look around the team. Who's there? Brenda. I I called in. I was with Alan with Darren Benton and, and stuff before the the World Cup, and I said the same. He said, "Oh, you, who are you going to pick in the England side?" Brendan Johnson. I said, "Is up and coming stand, outstanding player." Yeah. Tonight he lacked anything. Uh, we need something in there or somebody in there. To, just get us going, really, a bit of excitement, and you know, mm. it's just, I I say you feel deflated, yeah. but it, this isn't expected to me, you know. So. Yeah, yeah. I, I hear the, I hear the pain. That's yeah. a, that's a bad we, one. We feel your pain, <laughs> we Andrew. We really can. The Sports Bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jason Cundy, Monday to Thursday nights from ten on AM on DAB via the Talksport app and on your smart speaker. Talksport.